Hi, Geometry. Welcome to 3.5. Write and graph equations about lines. So, might be helpful to have the graphing calculator. A little bit of graph paper, especially post-it note graph paper. It's always lovely. Okay, here we go. I can write equations of parallel lines and perpendicular lines. I can use slope to find the distance from, point to, uh, from a point to a line. I can write an equation in standard form. This is the one everybody forgets. And I can write an equation from a graph. All right, so you've had a lot of this last year, so this should be nice, quick, easy breezy. Um, you will get this, all of this again in Algebra 2 and in pre-calculus. It's so important. Okay, so here we go. If 2x plus 5y equals negative 20 and x equals 0, what is y? Well, let's substitute 0 for x. So I have 2 times 0 plus 5y equals negative 20. Of course, this is gone. 5y equals negative 20, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. y is equal to negative 4. So again, basically what this means, um, when x is 0, y equals negative 4. If you recall, there would be a point down here. That would be um, a y-intercept. So hopefully now you're understanding why I had that in the warm-up. What is the slope of a line containing the points 3, negative 10 and 2, 7? You can go ahead and use the slope programs or figure it out. Remember, the slope is the change of y's. So negative 10 minus 7 over the change of x's. 3 minus 2. Of course, I can start with 7 and subtract a negative 10. Then I'd have to start with the denominator 2 minus 3. So here we go, negative 17 over 1, so that's your slope. Uh, I know you can write this as negative 17, but this will tell us to go down 17 over 1. And Jacob bought so many apples. If each apple costs 59 cents, write an equation for y with the total cost of apples. It's just y is equal to 0.59x. Okay. Um, when you see those story problems, or number stories I'd like to call them, don't, get, don't be afraid of them. What is the perpendicular slope? Uh, if the given slope is m equals negative 3. Remember, this is the same as negative 3 over 1. Perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal. Opposite means you change the sign and flip it. 1 over 3, so a positive 1 third. All right, here we go. Linear equations may be written in different forms. The general form of a linear equation in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So here we go. This is uh, our last learning target right here. I can write an equation from the line shown. So y equals mx plus b. So I need to know two things. I need to know what m is, and I need to know what b is, and then I have my equation. So I look at this graph. I see that the b is 4. Okay, so it's crossing the y-axis at 4. And to get to another point, let's see here. To go from here to here, I have to go down. 1, 2, 3, over 4. So the slope is down 3 over 4. My equation, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 4. So good times, good times. All right, next page. All right, um, at the top, write an equation of a line passing through the point Two, three, that is parallel, okay? Parallel is our key word here. So parallel means the same slope. So my slope here is 6 over 1. And I have an x and a y. Now, we're going to use this equation. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is called point slope form. Uh, this is the one you'll see in calculus a lot. So uh, as you approach Algebra 2 pre-calculus, you're going to use this more and more and more, and slope-intercept form a little bit less. So this is a good one. I'm going to substitute in, actually we'll make this y1, x1. So y minus a negative 3 equals 6 times x minus 2. I'm going to distribute y plus 3 is equal to 6x minus 12, and then I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. y is equal to 6x minus 15. 
All right. There's another way you can do this. You can use um, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So I know my y is negative 3. We know our m is 6. x is 2. And I will find out what the y-intercept of the b is going to be. So I have negative 3 is equal to 12 plus b. Subtract 12. b is equal to negative 15. Well, how about that? Remember, y equals m x plus b. Same thing. Now, I went ahead and I used graph paper to uh, graph both of these, just so you could kind of see it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you this one, just to save up some time. Can you even see that? Uh, let's see here. Um, I had to go by twos just because it's my intercept here is negative 15. So the original line, the intercept is 4. So I'll go up 6 over 2. And then here, the intercept is negative 15. Go up 6 over 2. And you'll have parallel lines. You'll notice the slopes are the same, and it does go through the point 2, negative 3. So double check this. All right, next one. Right equation of a line passing through the point 3, negative 4. That is perpendicular. This is very important. We want the perpendicular slope to this line. So here, slope is negative 1 half. So your perpendicular slope is going to be positive 2 over 1. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So here's my x1, here's my y1. So I have y minus a negative 4 equals, I'm now going to use this perpendicular slope, 2 times x minus 3. Go ahead and distribute. y plus 4 is equal to 2x minus 6, and then I'm going to subtract 4. y is equal to 2x minus 10. So same thing. I went ahead and I used graph paper to check this. The original equation, it crosses at negative 1. And then the slope was down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. And then my new equation, the y-intercept was 10, and I had to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and it hits the point 3, negative 4. So double check these with the graphs. You can also use your graphing calculator to check. So moving on, moving on. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. All right, now if I have not done so, I can't. I, Fill these in right now, okay? Cable TV charges, put in the months, go by 40s, 40, 80, 120, etc., and the months, uh, 1 through 9. Okay, and draw on this graph. So hopefully I'll remember to put that on there before I photocopy these. The graph shows the cost of having cable television installed in your home. Write an equation of the line. Explain the meanings of your slope and wire up to your line. Okay, so here it's going up. 40 over 1, up 40 over 1, up 40 over 1. And the B, the y-intercept, is 80. So what does this mean? Okay, so this is your cost. And your y-intercept would be your initial charge. Just to have cable, they're going to charge you something. So basic cable, no, no special channels or anything, who knows, um, $80. Well, what's happening? Every month it's going up $40, so that's your slope. $40 increase per month. Now I know that's kind of unrealistic. If they kept doing that, people would quit their uh, cable subscription just use the internet like I do. Um, but then, you know, you do miss out on some things, like I never get to watch Phineas and Ferb anymore. So, in any case, keep cable, you have to need some verb. Last page. Here is our standard form. Okay, so remember standard form? AX plus BY equals C, where A and B are not both zero. And also, they usually don't want fractions, so um, this is controversial. I've seen some books that say, a and B cannot be fractions, and some they have allowed it. All right, so who knows? Um, but here we go. This is AX plus BY equals C. 
We want us to graph this. We could get y by itself. So if I do that, solve for y, I'm going to bring that 2x to the other side. Negative 3y is equal to negative 2x. Remember, if you take a whole term to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes negative. And I still have that lonely negative 12 there. Divide by negative 3. You need to divide everything by negative 3. y is equal to negative divided by negative is a positive. 2 thirds x negative by, divided by negative is a positive plus 4. So your slope is 2 thirds, your y-intercept is 4. Okay, fine and dandy. But if you are taking a standardized test like on the ACT, there's a little quicker method, okay? Let's say uh, you're in standard form. You want the x-intercept, cover up the y. Oh, we'll use the hand pointer. So when you cover up the y, what do you see? I'll turn it sideways. I'm not flipping you off, I promise. You see 2x equals negative 12. Solve for x. Divide both sides by 2. x equals negative 6. When you want the y-intercept, cover up the x. What do you see? Now be careful, don't forget this little negative here. Negative 3y equals negative 12. Solve for y. y is equal to positive 4. So when you're graphing, the y-intercept is positive 4. The x-intercept is negative 6. Draw your line. Now let's think about this. Let's check it out. Let's see if it works. 2 thirds. Up 2 over 3. You've got this point. Up 2 over 3. You have this point. And um, there is our equation in uh, slope intercept form. Pretty cool, huh? Now, why does this method work? If you recall, if you're looking for intercepts, x intercepts, this is the point negative 6, comma 0. We made the y 0, we covered it up. And when you're on the y intercept, it's 0, comma 4. We made the x, we made the um, x here 0 because we covered it up. And that's how you get your intercept method. A lot of people forget this. They always go straight to this. They both work. This is quicker sometimes. All right. And last but not le least, one bank charges $1.50 each time you use a debit card. Another bank just charges $10 per month for an unlim unlimited amount of debit card uses. How many times per month would you need to use your debit card to make the bank that charges a flat rate a better choice? Well, let's think about this. This is the equation 1.50x. And this one is the equation y equals 10. Well, y equals 10 is a horizontal line. Okay, and then 1.5x, um, you know, this is like plus 0, crosses at 0, and it's going up 1.5 over 1, up 1.5 over 1, blah, 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 blah. We want to know when does that cross, okay? So this is the point that will tell us how many uses where 10, this will be cheaper because that line is underneath this line. Well, let's figure it out. Y is equal to this, Y is equal to that. Can I set them equal to each other? This is transitive. Oop, I forgot the x. Equals 10. Divide both sides by 1.5. x is equal to 6.6666666667. So about 7 uses. It'll be cheaper. 7 or more. Okay, so we do have a standard. Notice I put this, um, I split this up into two different assignments. If we get done in one, that's fine. But um, this is such an important section. We need to really definitely revisit it. And we actually have two different standards here. It should be printed out on your version. Everybody have a very nice evening. And hopefully you're getting over that um, tie with Minnesota and the Packers. Take care.